This country of the United States was not built by those who waited on and dressed as I said it, and wished to look behind. It is that man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. The exploration of space will go ahead, whether we join in it or not. And it is one of the great buildings. That's one small step for man. No national conflict in our space as yet. It's Athens a hostile to us all. Its conquest deserves the best of all mankind. as reports come in that an asteroid has collided with the moon, knocking it on a trajectory towards Earth. Emergency lockdowns are being imposed in major cities as law enforcement struggles to maintain control of the escalating chaos amongst fear-stricken citizens. Many countries have reported power grid disruptions, major earthquakes, and tidal flooding along coastal cities, with many forced to evacuate for higher ground. Increased geological activity and volcanic eruptions have caused extensive damage to cities and communities along major fault lines. The moon is expected to collide with the Earth in less than three hours, and we will continue to see the increased effects of its gravity as it approaches our atmosphere. Our field reporters are already starting to see some signs of NATO and cooperating governments comparing data and joining forces to determine Jim. how and even if a disaster of this magnitude this thing for can real? be stopped. This is Captain Lawson. Paul's coming to airlift you to the X Vision spaceport in Nevada to stop this thing. You are recommissioned to fly with the X Vision space fleet effective immediately. We'll tell Global Defense that we face total annihilation in less than two hours. NASA's initial projection of the mission window is 3.5. No, Colonel, this isn't some meteor in Tunguska. The sheer scale of this will wreak havoc before it even strikes. Gravitational fluctuations, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, EMPs all around the world. And if the moon reaches our atmosphere, friction will superheat the air and incinerate everything on Earth. You get to x -Vision ASAP. Paul's responsibility is to brief you on the rest. Hey, Jimbo. It's good to see you. Come on, we gotta go. Hey, who's that? My brother. Come on. Was that because of the moon? No, gravity disruptions are causing earthquakes. Come on, Bob. We'll get you to the base. It's not to happen the last two weeks. We gotta help him. No. Just help me get him out of here. No time. Bobby, I'm gonna get you out of here. All right, grab my hand. All right. Come on, I gotta pull you now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jim, it hurts. Hang in there, buddy. Look, Jim, I hate to say it, but you were right about everything. I mean everything. The size of the asteroid, when it would actually strike the moon. I mean, you called all of it. Here, keep feeding it to me. Okay. Look, I might not get a chance at this to apologize. Jim, it wasn't your fault. Your co-pilot's death. We don't have time for ancient history right now. It's not ancient history, Jim. It's only been a year. And look, if I had a time machine, I would go back and I would... I should have listened to your report, okay? Jim, it wasn't you that crashed your lander. It was gravity from a distant asteroid. We know. Let's knock it off! Look, I'm trying to apologize here. Like, when you reported that it was a year away from striking the moon, I should have never had you discharged, okay? It's my fault. Go! <sighs> hey, 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 stay away from 
wait me. Yeah, and I'll do blood. Is mom safe? How are your wife and kids? Yeah, mom's safe. I had her office and she seemed to take mom down to the Pentagon. Junie and the kids are there too. I didn't have a heart to tell them that if we can't stop this thing, that doesn't matter where they are. But, uh, Stacy's safe too. Yeah, our new boyfriend took her down on Camp Pendleton base. Good. Hand me the tape. All right, we got about 15 minutes till we reach the base. That is correct. We are currently tracking them via satellite and have an ETA of approximately 15 minutes. Good. As your liaison to the DOD, I have given you a lot of latitude in developing your program. But today, I am assuming full command. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. As of now, our databases are synced so that we are both tracking losses, progress, and the path of the moon in real time. Communication interruptions are inevitable. We'll attempt to cover setbacks well as the operations on weather. All pilots standing by. Oh, stop most of the bleeding. Look, we have one hour and 42 minutes till the moon reaches the atmosphere. Well, how's your recommission me? So you obviously need me to do something your team can't do. As hard as it is for me to admit, yeah, we do. As soon as you were discharged, NASA and JPL still insisted on using your antimatter engine design for our drone fleet. Now, given your reputation, Hauser was reluctant, but NASA pushed her. 30 minutes before I saw you, Hauser ordered us to launch the drone fleet into orbit to try and stop the moon. So you're using antimatter engines as bombs? It's not gonna work. No, not bombs, Jim. NASA, the DOD, the entire world is scraping the bottom of the barrel to try and stop the moon. I mean, nukes won't stop it, an exploding antimatter engine won't stop it. Where are we going, Jim? I guess I just need to know so I can, so I can tell some, some friends and some family. Look, you're going to a base called X-Vision. You'll be safe there. Yeah, I know what X-Vision is. What I don't know is how you're planning to stop this thing. Look, I saw the news. We're all gonna die, aren't we? Look, you'll be safe at the base, okay? And we do have a way to stop the moon. How are you gonna stop the moon? That's not even possible. <laughs> it is possible. We have a spacecraft with an engine on it with special fuel called antimatter. We're talking to the military right now on how to turn it on and start a reaction to stop the moon. He's talking about a huge nuclear bomb. No, I'm not talking about a huge nuclear bomb. All right, let me dumb this down for you, Bob. Imagine a racetrack, okay? But instead, it's a closed tube, and the atoms are the cars running in the opposite directions. Now, when they crash into each other, they explode and release energy. Now, that energy, Bob, pay attention, please. Now, that energy creates a thrust, kind of like a jet engine. Now, there's these little things in the space called neutrinos that are floating around that will trigger the reaction. They're gonna be acting like the springs that launch the cars around the track. And Hauser remember what you said a year ago, that if somebody deliberately destroys the engine's cadmium regulator, a bombardment of neutrinos will run the reaction out of control. That's it. So you're gonna overload an engine, create a black hole, and pull the moon back into orbit. That's the plan. Wait, hold on. There's a black hole? That's gonna destroy everything, it won't it? No, Bob, it's not gonna destroy everything. There's places on Earth, like the one in Switzerland, that have the Large Hadron Collider. They split atoms every single day to create many black holes. This is not Look, just well, calm down. Calm down, Bob. If you keep exerting yourself, you're gonna make your injuries even worse. Calm down. Because it's all your fault. Jim, Jim told me all about it. Um, hey, look, relax. Even if they had more time, they know this is just strategic suicide. Yeah, it was dead last on their list, but they have no other choice and no time, Jim. Admiral Keller, we have a visual on the drone sample. Are we certain that the antimatter engine affixed to the top of the drone is still functional? Affirmative. The antimatter engine is functional, but programmed to send a distress signal if the drone becomes terminally damaged. And follow up with plans? I have a room full of trigger happy joint teams still doubtful of our proposed day. The nuclear strike will not stop the moon. Clearing the lunar asteroids with a conventional missile and using the antimatter drive to create a black hole is the only way forward. Okay, but if you don't launch before any of the magnetic hole reversal, you are missiles will be disabled. The mission rides on the So five minutes after the launch, the meteors destroyed all the drones except for one. Now it's dead in space on the edge of the moon's far side, but its antimatter engine is sending a distress signal right now. 
They need someone to reactivate it. Now they need you to reactivate it. Our engineers are somewhat familiar with it, and they can do basic diagnostic tests and controls, but you're the expert on how it's built. Jim, you're the only one that can guarantee that the reaction will run out of control. We're already encountering EM disruptions. They're only gonna intensify. So I'm sure the Pentagon's planning a strike? Yeah. Hauser's coordinating a global conventional weapons strike into the lunar debris field to clear a path for you to reach the stall drone. An X-Vision will provide a space fleet, leading you right into orbit. But as the moon gets closer, it's gonna reverse the Earth's magnetic poles, detonating the missiles prematurely. Okay, we have to ensure that my launch precedes that, so we don't compromise the mission. It's not my first rodeo. We've timed it so that by the time you get in your spacecraft, the missiles will launch. By the time you get to orbit, they will dissipate, leaving you a clear path right to the stall drone. All right, make sure Hauser uses the Pentagon's Colossus satellite dish to maintain communications. Okay, that'll cut through most of the magnetic noise. Colossus right. satellite dish will already be aligned your jet path. I got it. All right, one more thing. Under no circumstances can global defense change your mind about a nuclear option. A nuke and his gamma rays will fry me and the spacecraft, and the mission ends. Ah, well, Hauser stopped all that talk for now. Although China and Russia are considering a nuclear strike regardless. <laughs> yeah, it's the Russians, what do you expect? If it wasn't for X-Vision and NASA's global reputation, hell, they might not have held off at all. Hold on. We're about 30 miles out from base. That power surge blew the circuit. It damaged the propeller. Damn. You ever fallen these things before? Uh, it's just basic aeronautics. Roll, pitch, yaw. All right. The rotor's running at 19,000 RPM. Well, we have to equalize it. Where's the main circuit? It's right here. Now the drone's default is arc flight at 260 knots. We're not flying coast to coast. We don't need to uh, account for the Earth's curvature. There. All right. We turned off the arc. That stopped an RPM increase to the other three rotors. Now they can match the damaged rotor without damaging our ETA. Good. You know, you place way too much blind faith in these machines. Yeah, well, I guess it could be another thing we disagree on. Loss into base. Uh, Repeat, loss into base. Loss into base! What's the status? Repeat. Oh, damn it. The EMPs are already getting our satellites. Well, they could have been struck by lunar asteroids. Yeah, that could be it. This is Private First Class Malcolm, requesting emergency evac, over. This is Squadron 229, we have a report of major damage to Camp Pendleton. Camp Pendleton was just destroyed in a major earthquake. Requesting emergency evac to the nearest bunker. Evac denied, we are under strict orders to only address the most dire threats. We're also getting reports the earthquake triggered a massive tsunami. You will need to get to high ground immediately. 229, we are en route to a communications hub to maintain the Southwest network. I understand, Private, but all units are for essential support only. Unless you're directly supporting the Pentagon, we cannot evac. Copy? This is communication support for the entire region. Denied, Private. We have direct orders from DOD that all assets are dedicated to the larger threat. Hey, tell him you're traveling with Stacy Lawson. 
I'm Jim Lawson's wife. He's the astronaut they recruited for their mission. 229, I have Stacy Lawson accompanying me. She is astronaut Jim Lawson's wife, and Jim Lawson is mission critical. Denied, Private. Command says she is not mission critical. I'm sorry. There are no available units for a one-off rescue. Are you really Jim Lawson's wife? I am. Or was. We separated. Well, they have a communications dish outside the Pentagon called Colossus. It's huge. It transmits deep into space. But with the fragments of the moon deflecting the signal, they'll need us to reroute all the hubs across the country to boost their signal, including ours. So that's what this is for. It'll convert our regional signal into something they can use. You ready to keep running? Absolutely. So base still has our approximate location. As soon as they see a distress signal, they send us a rescue unit, so. Thermal imaging should still be able to pick us up on the ground, but they're gonna need a clear place to land. Let's get out in the open. Let's go. There goes our rescue detail. EM disturbances must be getting worse. They look like our UMVs. Glad no one was on board. If we don't get you airborne soon, we're done. If we don't get a missile strike, our chances of success are cut in half. Come on. Come on what? The base must be about five miles away. Uh, I think we're about a mile from George's mechanic. George's mechanic? What, Dad's Air Force buddy? Yeah, the guy who fixes your base's cars for a handshake. That was some sweet deal you made. You can use his phone and grab one of his cars. Let's go. What? What is that? I don't like hair in my face. You carry that thing with you? Yeah. It's very fashionable. Oh, sweet boots. You get them at Costco. I hope it makes you run faster. Come on, Sally. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh. Oh. oh, I felt all that. Oh. How long did that take us? What? How long did it take us? Ah, oh, six minutes. It's not even that bad. Let's keep going. Let's go. Come on. Whoa, whoa. You're not running. You're emptying your wallet, giving your money to JJ here, and then you're getting zip-tied. Look, we don't have any time for this, okay? We got, oh! Oh, you had it! All right, all right, all right. All right. Oh. <coughs> the only way you two clowns are out this far is if you're working for that Air Force base. And you know, we got your little alert back in town. And we know you're lying about the end of the world. Oh, you got it, okay? We work for the Air Force. Move, and I will blow your brains all over this ravine. I knew your private military was out here trying to take over this whole region. I read about it online for years now. I, we don't know anything about that, okay? We're just trying to get to the base to Hands fix up. it. Hands up. We're just trying to get to the base to fix it, all right? Wait a second. <laughs> hey, Eddie, look who it is. It's that CEO. That's him. Look, we don't want any trouble. Cut your wallet on the ground. Both all of right, you. All right, all right, let's go. Now. Guys like you, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, pigs feeding off society, crushing our brains. You had your time lying to us, lying about taking expeditions to the moon. Yeah, we've been watching you too. We know you've been keeping tabs on every citizen in this country. <laughs> so why don't you tell me, how does it feel, Paul Lawson? JJ, I knew we would find private military out here patrolling. Now's the time. Take a video. The revolution starts here. Guys, we are a spacecraft company, okay? There really is a threat to the United States, the whole world. He's lying, JJ. It's a good thing I'm recording. Wait, 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 wait. don't kill us. Paul, well, the bullies when you were eight, you remember? You have to shut up. Shut up. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. What? How does that work? 
don't know, you yell loud enough, they think you're gonna tell them something important. Worked when you were eight, work now. <laughs> Lose that ridiculous beanie, will you? What keeps my hair out of my face? Shop is just through this clearing. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Jimmy Lawson! You got anything? Yeah, it's working. And we gotta be close to an hour ETA for impact. Hour and 16 minutes till it reaches the messosphere. X Vision. It's Operation Godfather, give me the command center. Lawson, Admiral Keller here. We lost you on radar. I'm on the line with Colonel Hauser at the Pentagon. Jim and I need to rescue ASAP. We lost your GPS on our Colossus dish minutes ago. Keller, get Lawson to base before these electromagnetic pulses get worse. We sent out rescue helicopters, but their guidance systems went out of control and crashed them. We sent out two more. Both those transports have since crashed. Have your flight captain take the X-Vision fleet to your underground bunker to shield them from the electromagnetic pulses. Yes, ma'am. Is the anti-matter engine on the strategy drone still sending a signal? Affirmative. What's the mission status? I have word from the president and the joint chiefs that China and Russia are synchronized to launch their nuclear payload. Once they detonate, Jim will have a safe path to reach the drone. Jim and I are headed to the base ASAP. We gotta get Jim here now, Paul. Threat response reported electrical damage to our Colossus dish. The longer we delay, the less chance we have to assist if our guidance system fails. I understand. Hey, George! You here? Hey, George! Come on, George. And NASA's reporting such a dense lunar asteroid field that the pathway will close roughly one minute after the strike. Antimatter engine. Oh. Ah. Paul. Paul, are you there? Come in, Paul. I'm here. These earthquakes are getting worse. Get here now while you still can. Jim and I are headed to the road ASAP. Once we get on the road, I need Paul. Maintain communication on an open channel. I have zero digital communication. Repeat, zero digital communication. I need live updates. Copy that. You will have them. Paul! George! He's just gonna be bruised for a long time. I was just out back turning off the gas, man, when I heard you guys yelling. Hey, look, we need a car right now. We'll take you to the base. All right. I got you covered, man. I got just the one. Great, where are the keys? Back there, on the shelf, number eight. On the board? Yeah, you can't miss it. All right. You good? Yeah, brother. Oh, no. But thank you, it'd have been nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man, Come drinks are on him. <laughs> Before he went to the Air Force, your dad had that on his workbench. <laughs> Every day he'd look at it, man. I forgot all about it. You know what? Take it. I want you to have it, Jimmy, for good luck. Thanks. <sighs> and guys, I'm sorry I never made it to your dad's funeral. Hey, George, sorry. I was just uh, 
What's our ETA at impact? We got an hour and 12 minutes. We gotta go. All right, come on. Let's go. George. Thanks, George. Hey, man. She's a nitrous burning monster. Zero to 100 in a second. Lawson, do you copy? Base, this is Lawson, do you copy? This is Admiral Keller Lawson at X-Vision. Go for base. Jim and I are three minutes out. Repeat, ETA is three minutes. Do you copy? Copy, three minutes. We're currently tracking your position with the X-Vision surveillance drone, so we'll have a more accurate sense of your ETA. We've sustained massive damage here at the base due to these earthquakes. The parts have been completely decimated. Most of our F-35s and about 80% of all aircraft are operational. X-Vision craft is ready to launch. We're just waiting for your arrival. Copy that, base. Maintain protocol on Operation Godfather. Copy that. You should have visual confirmation of conventional weapons now at 50,000 units and climbing. Good. They'll surely get ahead of the Earth's magnetic poles reversing. What's the ETA for the moment? It's an hour and eight minutes. All right, see if you can find something on the radio, a newscast, anything. Numbers of casualties, and we're getting reports of New York, Orlando, coastal cities experiencing unprecedented. Japan, there it is. All of the Canary Islands, Alaska, all in states. I see it. Just focus, brother. We need to get to base. Admiral, exterior damage readings on the base have overwhelmed our damage report live stream. Moving to the back of feed. Thank you, Major Romero. Colonel Hauser. China and Russia are chomping at the bit to launch their nukes. Is Lawson airborne? Negative. His helicopter crashed, but we've regained communication. He's en route to the base about one minute out. We need him airborne as of an hour ago. We have Operation Godfather on our threat screen. We launched our missiles to get ahead of the reversal of Earth's magnetic poles. They're reaching the mesosphere as we speak. We will have Jim Lawson airborne ASAP once he arrives. Ma'am, an incoming meteor has damage above ground supports. Below ground damage is 20 yards at 5%. Admiral, per the President and the Joint Chiefs, make it happen. If Lawson doesn't tail this strike, every second decreases our chance of success. Yes, ma'am. Our dish is damaged. Communication to the antimatter engine is unstable. Do you have steady contact? Initializing communications verification with antimatter engine now. Signal still active. The signal on the antimatter engine on the drone is active, yes. How much life is left in its power reserve? Last reading was 72%. Are you able to patch this call over to Lawson? I have a very unstable radio signal, but it's all I've got. Do it. Yes, ma'am. It's Hauser. I can't hold Russia and China back from launching their nuclear missiles much longer. They seem to think that they can solve this with a nuke strike. A nuke strike won't work, Colonel. The only thing that'll stop it is a major gravitational event. We both know that, Jim. But their physicists seem to think that our process isn't viable. We need to convince them before they take us all down with them. Colonel, that antimatter engine is a miniature version of the Large Hadron Collider, and that makes black holes every single day. So it is strong enough to create a temporary black hole the size of a football field, pulling the moon back into orbit. The Russians and Chinese are saying that a black hole will pull the moon and the Earth into it, destroying everything. Like that, that's not true, Colonel. They're going with a nuclear option unless we can prove it. Do we have proof? Yeah, it's something called Newton's Universal Law of Gravitation. Gravity decreases in an inverse square. 
when moving away from the center of a mass. Colonel, the drone is on the moon's far side, so the Earth is far enough away from the event that it'll only move a millimeter. But that'll be enough to pull the moon back into orbit and back into equilibrium with the Earth. Copy. Let's hope that it's enough to ward them off. Get it done. Ma'am, the Colossus dish has sustained heavy damage. We've lost the distress signals to the antimatter engine. We're losing its location, ma'am. Threat response. This is command. Get above ground and repair the Colossus dish immediately. If Lawson loses contact, that dish is the only thing powerful enough to communicate the drone's coordinates. Ma'am, radar indicates Operation Godfather clearing the mesosphere. Lieutenant, when they strike, get me a payload count. Colonel, we have incoming meteors. We have to find some way to defend the dish. Threat response is calling for artillery. No. If we use artillery, we might as well be trying to stop them with a pistol. Diaz, get threat response to set up the LRAD sonic cannons around the dish. We'll launch a sonic shield to pulverize incoming as it approaches. Deploying sonic cannons, ma'am. Major Romero, how's the base's earthquake stabilization? Stabilizers are still active, ma'am. And the underground line to the Pentagon? Still active. Ma'am, the missiles have reached the leading edge of the moon's debris field. Field penetration at 18%, 30 degrees. Ordnance detonation at 31%. Magnetic poles are reversing. Hit the nitrous. What? Hit the nitrous Wait, in the console. That? Oh, God. Move. Hit it. Ordnance detonation at 38%, 50%, 60%, 80%. We're still at 18% penetration into the debris field and holding, holding, and 17%. The missiles are prematurely detonating, ma'am. The Earth's magnetic fields are reversing. Ma'am, I'm also getting a heat sensor reading from the stabilizers underneath the base. Rate of increase is one degree per second. All right, stand by. Ma'am, we have to get our spacecraft in the air now. These earthquakes will destroy our property in minutes. What is your CTA? Captain Hayes, stand by until I give you the order to launch. Stand by, Captain Hayes. The moon's weakening the Earth's magnetic field, sending subatomic particles shooting through the upper atmosphere. Ma'am, I'm getting a security alert from the Pentagon. The pole reversal is activating the detonator, destroying the missiles before they can reach the debris field. Stand by, Romero. I'm getting an alert that the Pentagon's Colossus dish is experiencing a power surge. Do we still have a line to Washington? Still connected to the Pentagon, ma'am. All right, put me through to Colonel Hauser. Ma'am. The cannons are down, and the dish's mainframe is overheating. It's Admiral Keller, ma'am. I see zero confirmation of his flight. Get Lawson in the air now! This astronaut Jim Lawson to base. We are at X-Vision. Start the engine on my craft. I'll be airborne as soon as I reach the cockpit. He's here and about to board, Colonel. Copy that, Captain Lawson. All spacecraft are prepped and ready to launch. You are in point position. Repeat, you are at point. Captain Hayes, initiate launch sequence. Jim Lawson is on his way to fleet point position. Hayes and Matthews, you're running the edge. Ready to launch. Ascending one flight to the point. Ma'am, 
the temperature under the base has increased 300 degrees. Our pressure readings are blowing out the sensors. The building stabilizers are melting. Looks like it's some type of geode. Did this just come up from under the base? The last temperature reading was 380 degrees. The sensors are showing a heat field at 100 feet below ground. Alert Lawson. They might be driving right into a volcanic eruption. Ma'am, I'm getting an alert from the power grid database. All the power grids in the U.S. are crashing because the magnetic poles are reversing. This is Captain Hayes, ready to launch. There's the fleet. There's the fleet right there. The engine's starting to overheat. The tarmac's heating up. The tires are starting to smoke. And yeah, the moon's pulling on the Earth's liquid core. Look, that's pushing magma to the surface. All right, we're going to drive right into the craft, get on the roof of the car, up the ladder into the cockpit. Get those ships in the air! Launch! Launch! Channel's dead. All right, we gotta get there before another eruption. Launch! Launch! Break formation! Go for launch! Go for launch! Wait, damage report. We've lost 22 ships, Captain. We're the only craft remaining. They're gone! Matthews and Hayes made it out. They can't complete the mission. Where's the AI craft? What, the one untested? The experimental craft, where is it? It's Hangar 13. We're going in. What, to the cargo hold? Hang on. You can't drive into the ship. Here we go! Stop, stop! Ah! Flight protocol initiated. Jim, I see you're our pilot today. Go for launch. Manual flight engaged. Launch now. Protocol discourages launching from inside. Launch now. XC scan for imminent threats. Imminent threat detected. Launch in T minus. Three, two, one. got at least another mile. Okay. So what brought you to Camp Pendleton? I was, um, I started dating this guy, a good guy, a Marine. He had just started his patrol on the base when the earthquake struck. Well, if everything goes according to plan, we'll get you reunited with him. With who? The Marine. What's our ETA to impact? Hey, Paul. Paul, focus on my voice, huh? Deep breaths. What's the ETA to impact? 43 minutes. How far is the moon from the Earth? NASA and the DOD's database is down. Hauser said the Colossus satellite is disabled. I'm not getting any updates. All right, uh, XC, how far is the moon from our current position? Calculating. There's no GPS data available. Communication satellite shows fatal error, enabling laser distancing. I detect a major disruption of the moon's orbit. Current distance from our location, 163,209 miles. All right, so the moon's third of the way here. We don't have an escort. Jim, we're receiving an alert. Two X-Vision spacecrafts are approaching rapidly. Sir, we are guarding you the rest of the way to the drone. Thank you, Captain. We owe you one. 
Tell me, what's your payload today? We have two Stinger missiles each, plus the two on your craft. I am first point, but then Matthews is second. Your craft is last. Don't tell me Excalibur's never fired its weapon system before. You want me to lie to you? Extremely hazardous conditions detected in the troposphere. Incoming meteors and disabled satellites detected. All ground contact is severed. Advise safe landing immediately. XC, shut up. Incoming, 10 o'clock! Maneuver in the opposite direction I wanted to go. It's following his program. Now turn it off. I can't, it's Turn reaction. it off! XC, quiet mode, manual function. Going quiet, manual function. Incoming, dead ahead. zone from the missile strike. We're gonna get about a minute of this. You all right? Yeah. I mean, it's not really used to the physical impact of it. <laughs> no, we're pulling about five G's here, so. This ship has a uh, cyclotron gyroscope. Alex, you know? You don't know what that is? It's artificial gravity. <laughs> wow. Wow, is this what you feel all day? This is awesome. I like this. I'm trying on for <laughs> All right, focus up. We need to find that drone. <sighs> XC, find the distress signal on our drone. XC is back online. Hello, Jim and Paul. Locating drone. And now, Excalibur can navigate us straight to the drone. I thought you said it wasn't tested. Yeah, it's not tested, but it has autopilot. You know what that is. Oh, like an AI component is a lot different than an autopilot. Yeah, I get that, but this one's one of a kind. You know, it's got the robotic arm, laser guidance system, smart controls. It'll save you from doing a little moonwalk to get the antimatter engine. Look, you were there before we wanted to take off. The ship wanted to delay until we had to tell it there was a threat. Paul, look, human instinct still has to be the baseline. Okay, bro. The damage response team needs to reactivate that satellite ASAP. Run a fine point signal to capture any onboard functions. We have no communication with Lawson or the drone. Their last alert was 10 minutes ago, correct? These are distress signals. The base was completely destroyed. Do we have confirmation of that? Ma'am, some of the distress signals and security footage reached our feed before it went black. There's nothing left of it. Looks like there was some kind of explosion that leveled at a five square mile radius. What about our Air Force? Are there any bases capable of launching aircraft? Ma'am, the communication database feed shows heavy damage and destruction. All of our assets are inoperable. Half of them went down in the ocean during the disruption of the poles. The loss of life is enormous. This 
half looks familiar. Yeah, that audio. You designed it. Really? So you just, so you took my design? No, I didn't take your design, Jim. I, uh, I made the defense department make sure that all the parts and designs go under your LLC, so anything they use, you get paid for. It was my way of trying to make things right. I love that picture that you got from George. Oh, one of us with mine at the beach? Yeah. Yeah. Dad must have lost that when he worked for George before he went in the Air Force. And he was so mad. He loved that picture. It was his favorite. I barely remember it. Uh, you're only about five years old. All I can remember is him laughing at something you said, and then I tried to say something, and he... He just patted me on the head. Look, um, it wasn't entirely your fault. What was it? Firing me. Several years ago, when we were still in high school, you hadn't even started X Vision yet. I disobeyed a direct order on my first lunar mission. I was ordered back to the lander, but instead I went to recover this metal sample that we'd lost when our rover failed. I should have gotten a reprimand, but instead they said I saved the mission. I kind of developed a reputation for doing stuff like that. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, everyone in the Air Force loved Dad. So they kind of loved me by association. I mean, the reports, they should have said I was reckless, but they said I was quick thinking. And then when I lost control during last year's mission, that reputation went right out the window. I mean, it didn't matter that it was a gravitational anomaly from a hundred million miles out that forced my craft into the moon. Didn't matter. I couldn't save my co-pilot. No matter how thorough my report was, warning everyone about an asteroid so massive that it could affect my spacecraft from that far out, and it was gonna strike the moon in less than a year, no one believed me. Not even you. What happened last year wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault at all, actually. It was mine. I was the one that got you discharged. I was the one that threw you under the bus. Jim, your co-pilot's death wasn't your fault. None of this is. It's mine. But it could have been my fault. That's why it's not unreasonable for you to strip me of my career in order to save x -Vision. Just like it wasn't unreasonable for Stacy to leave me. That's the dumbest thing you've ever said. If that's true, then why did Dad have you drive him to the hospital? every single day for his treatments. Not once did he ask me. You know why? Because you're accountable. You're accountable. No cancellations, nothing ever came up. You were always there. And me, huh? Selfish. Off trying to prove something. You said Stacy's safe? Yeah. Yeah, Stacy's safe. Good. XC, activate navigation directed towards that distress signal. Navigation engaged. Distance to drone, 5,300 miles. Current speed, nearing Mach 20. 
15,208 miles per hour. Home and Beacon Interface Visual and Audio. Communications dish in DC. Might not have enough power to get their message through to our astronaut. So get to the COM4. It's at the top of the next ridge. Plug the chip in that case into the port inside the box on the building. Malcolm. Malcolm. Hey. Laser distancing detects a continuing disruption to the moon's orbit. Hazardous flying conditions ahead. Debris field assessment, 100,000 cubic miles. Incoming, meteor approaching, evasive maneuvers. All right, all right. ETA to impact, it's 35 minutes. Incoming, two meteors approaching. First is upper left, second is lower right. Evasive maneuvers. Hang on. How fast can XC go? Mach 30. XC go at Mach 30. Captain Lawson, given the intensity of the current meteor shower, I cannot recommend it. XC, the moon will crash into the Earth if we don't reach that drone. Calibrating, this is an unprecedented event. Risk assessment, both courses of action will lead to the destruction of the spacecraft. XC, go at maximum speed now. Increasing to maximum speed. I'm unable to advise further. Good luck, Captain Lawson. What the fuck? Pentagon, this is uh, Kong 4 Southwest. Pentagon, do you read? This is Colonel Hauser. Do you have additional bandwidth to redirect the Colossus dish outside of DC? This is our last chance to get that signal through. Yes, ma'am. Signal should be working. Come for We see no signal. We're failing to reach maximum capacity. Uh, 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 uh stand by. Okay, you should have signal now. Copy, COM4. Transmission. 
mission is live. Ma'am, radar is picking up an object heading past the mesosphere and into the debris field. Is it a rogue missile? No, ma'am. It's a spacecraft. That has to be Lawson. Ma'am, our fine point signal has regained contact with the antimatter drive. Try to make contact with the spacecraft. There's too much interference, ma'am. Amplify the signal to catch any onboard functions. We can build a vectoring model to send to Lawson in case he loses the drone. The Colossus can't sustain the same stress levels after its repairs, ma'am. We have to get through to him, even just for a status update. Ma'am, radar's picking up a signal off the Chinese coast. They sent out a global alert. They've launched their nuclear weapons. We need to warn him that a nuclear strike in his vicinity is imminent. Lieutenant, amplify the signal to the dish, even if it risks destroying it. Yes, ma'am. XC, prepare the robotic arm. Running diagnostics on the robotic arm. All functions are optimal. You're actually getting a signal from someone? There's only a handful of sites that have that type of power of communication, so it's either the Pentagon or some other GA country. Let's see if I can get it. You go for Jim Lawson. Can't get it. Ma'am, the missiles from China are approaching the upper atmosphere. What's their time to impact? Three minutes, 50 seconds. Ma'am, we've rerouted additional power sources to the dish, but it won't hold up much longer. I've got error messages popping up from the main control switches. Are the electrical engineers still at the mainframe? Yes, ma'am. Have them regulate the power fluctuations manually. Turn off the smaller systems. Just keep the main circuit from melting down. Yes, ma'am. We're about 8,000 yards out now from the drone. We should have a visual. Go for Jim Lawson. All right, she's warning us about something here. XC, can you break through the static on the incoming message? Clearing radio signal. Paul, I apologize, but I cannot clear the incoming message. Only discernible words are repeat and did not. All right, keep monitoring the radio. We're almost at the drone. XC, move the robotic arm to port side. Repositioning arm to port. XC, can you tell how much battery power is left in the antimatter engine? Battery reserve on the antimatter drive. Calculating 40%. That battery's running out fast. Uh, if it encounters a problem in orbit, it's programmed to send the highest possible signal and make sure it reaches Earth. It burns a lot of juice. Ma'am, the nuclear missiles are exiting the atmosphere. Lawson, this is Hauser. Come in, Lawson. Lawson! XC, extend the arm, full extension. Yes, Captain, extending robot arm to maximum extension. Reverse thrust, 12%. Reverse thrust, 12%. Acceleration at 88%, 76%. Target within 1,000 yards. XC, assume control of the craft. Bring us into a stabilized position on the port side of the stalled drone. Initiating guidance system and assuming control of the spacecraft. All right, XC, use the robotic arm to remove the antimatter drive. Are there any fine motor fixtures which will require use of the arms toolkit? XC, there are 16 bolts and a breakaway shield. Make sure they're all removed. Yeah, I know a thing or two. Captain Lawson, now that the bolts have been removed, I will need to use the arm's welding torch to unseal the welded joints on the engine's heat shield. Can't risk the welder damaging the engine under the shield. Drones should be large to fit inside. We have to go out and cover it manually. Suit up. Let's do it. Next seat, prepare for spacewalk. Open cargo bay doors. Yes, Captain. Air containment in progress and open cargo bay doors. to go? Yep. You need me to go. Oh, when I tell the AI to bring me back in on the arm, you monitor the controls. Make sure he listens. Copy that.
Incoming. Nuclear missiles are approaching the debris field. Warning. Detonation yeah, we got a nuclear strike! Don't touch that stuff! Stand by! Nuclear missiles are approaching the debris field. Jim, emergency procedure requires that I... XC, do not listen to that order. I am bringing Jim inside. Paul, I see you have engaged the manual functions on the tether. Shit, Jim, get back in here now! Destination in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jim! Fuel line has been breached. Go, 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 go! Fuel is leaking from the exterior and interior of the spacecraft. We need to shut off the fuel before anything ignites it. Fuel remaining? It's no 78%. All controls for the control panels have been severed. Uh, we'll have to shut down the engines. Shut down the... 65%. Any electronic on board can ignite it. I mean, we'd have to shut down this entire shit. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Maybe you forgot we had just lost the drone. I mean, we'd be floating dead in space, Look, Jim. We don't have a choice. If that explodes, we die, and every chance to save the Earth goes with us. XC, cease all onboard functions. Power down the ship. Captain, the craft is currently spinning out of control. Cease all engine and onboard functions now. Shut down the ship. Ceasing all engine and onboard functions. You better be right. We need an alternate means of propulsion to reach the drone. We can use the ship's air evacuator valves. What, so we use the onboard air as a propellant? Exactly. Come on. We've lost them, ma'am. No, not necessarily. We lost their onboard stream to our cloud database. Check the radar. We still have a radar reading on Excalibur, ma'am. It looks like the majority of their superstructure is intact. Do we have any communication? The systems are down, ma'am, and thermal imaging suggests that their engines are off, too. <sighs> ma'am, the structures above us have collapsed. Call engineering. Have them devise a brace for the structure. Level 9 to engineers, code gray. The floor above us is starting to collapse. I repeat, code gray. If Lawson's systems are offline, he may need us to guide him to the drone using our radar coordinates. Level 9 engineers, come in, level 9 engineers. Ma'am, the engineers aren't responding. What are the orbital coordinates of the drone? 2909 north, 7117 east, 209,200,000 miles per hour at 94 degrees. Threat response team, give a full electrical surge to the dish's mainframe and Morse code the following coordinates. 29.09 north. Look, I have a visual on the drone, but there's no accurate way to judge its distance or coordinates, Jim. Now, what's the ETA to atmospheric impact? 18 minutes. All right, look. So we've got four ducks to evacuate air from the ship. We got two here in the cockpit, two back in the cargo hold. But we're gonna need the exact location of the drone. Is that Morse code? Well, it has to be the Pentagon. But it's, it's a number, it's a... It's 2909 North. Well, wait, that doesn't match our coordinates. That's 12,000 miles from our starting point. They're giving us the coordinates for the drone. Look, but we've lost access to the ship's coordinates, Jim, so we have no way of tracking it. The compass. The compass. Compass? What compass? Jim, what compass? Old World War II compass. The needle's painted with radium 66. That's radioactive. The engine has a proton cyclotron booster just like the Hadron Collider. Now, when that blast went off, this was within 40 feet of that engine. So the subatomic particles were affected? Exactly. It separated ions from the radium. So now, instead of magnetism pulling the needle, the ions in the dial are, are mirroring the ions in the drone. So it's overpowering the magnetic forces. Right, and if we could find a horizontal plane relative to the drone's orientation and relative to its vertical orientation, we can measure the angles on the dial, triangulate the drone's current heading relative to our position. Yeah, but what about its speed? All right, we can trace our path using the ship's database from when the nuke hit us to now, calculating for distance over time. 
That would work. That could work. Come on. Okay. Use those dials to orient the horizontal and vertical planes of the Excalibur Spectre map based on the direction of the compass's needle relative to the drone. Okay. The X and Y axis are recalibrated. XC, calculate a vector path based on the new X and Y axis. Aligning vectors now. Vectors now synced. Okay, let's get to the cargo. What? Don't scrape anything. All right, pull at the same time. It should bump us into a clean trajectory. Yeah, I got it. On three, can you count that high? Yeah. All right, one, two, three. three. All right, we should be on target now. Yeah, hopefully. All right, we're on course. Let's slow our speed as we approach the drone. Okay. Ready? We're gonna do this together on three. Yep. One, two, three. What happened? Nothing. We must be getting out of air. All right, again. One, two, three. We're not slowing down, Jim. All right, we're gonna have to try to snag it as we pass the drone. Put on your helmet. What? Ma'am, look. The Excalibur craft has changed course. It's steering towards the drone. Is our fine point signal able to detect any communications? No, ma'am, wait. There's a vector rate update on the data cloud. It updated with two parallel coordinates. Good. There must be something on board their ship with an active database. Either their spacesuits, or the drone, or both. Does no one have a dedicated power source? Yes. All right, we have to turn it on. But it can ignite the fuel. We have to risk it. OK. Give me a countdown. Got it. Making contact in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, six 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We got it. Yes. We got it. Open the overhead doors. What is our ETA to the moon's impact? Six minutes, ma'am. Ma'am, the ceiling's not going to hold much longer. Close enough to the atmosphere, it's causing spread electrical charges. Jim, the power surges are activating the ship. The connection with the antimatter drone has been locked. Warning. Oh, come on. Power surge detected. Power surge detected. We just locked the drone. We have to shut down the system before. Ma'am, there's been an explosion on board the Excalibur. The spacecraft is headed 16 degrees, vector 19, directly into the sun's cosmic rays. And the drone? Do we have updates of the fine point reading on the dish? We did capture an active signal to get its last heading, ma'am. Did you send a vectoring model to the ship before it exploded? I kept updating your database every second, ma'am. Then send a vectoring model through the dish. Maximum hertz. Do we have the engine? No, I brought three in the earth. Fatal error, fatal error. The hull has been breached. Repeat, the hull has been breached. Failure of all artificial gravity in emergency systems is imminent. A catastrophic explosion. XC, where's the antimatter engine now? I am unable to locate the antimatter drive. The drive's distress signal has stopped. Battery power is depleted. What's our ETA for the moon? Paul! What? What's our ETA for the moon? It's three minutes and 20 seconds. Uh integration of the spacecraft superstructure is eminent. Integrity of the spacecraft. Warning, disintegr- The space- The ship's breaking up. Oh, the ship's breaking up. Is there any other propulsion on board? Disintegration spacecraft- Oh, get it together! Is there any other propulsion? No, it's just us. That's it. I'm gonna get you out of here. I need you. Come on. Get away. The radio is picking up a high frequency pulse. It's a waveform reading in the display. It's a sequence. Oh, it's a vector model. Jim, the drill's behind us. Warning, disintegration of the spacecraft superstructure is imminent. Warning, dis hey. disintegrate. We can't stay on the ship. Warning. We can use the car before the gravity dies. What? Jim, we can't use hey, the car. Zero to 100 in a second, baby. Oh, yeah. Thank you, George. Get it. 
Got him. I was still on the type of death. Bro, it's out of town. Where's it all? What are we doing? All right, look. The drive's battery has leads on just like any other battery. All it needs is a current to turn it back on. I'll throw the switch, and the engine will start. I right, rip the shield off the side of the battery. I can't! It's screwed on! Well, keep pulling! Ah! 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 Turn that thing off! We need to get the camera regulator! Okay, the battery's connected. <sighs> All right, great. Here, the test is. Something metal, something. We don't something have metal. anything metal. Something that conducts electricity. Look in the glove box. We don't have anything. I got it, I got it, I got it. Hurry! Look it up. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go! It's working! It's working! <laughs> explosion on the far side of the moon. It's a black hole. They did it. <laughs> We're about to re the atmosphere. Slow us down. Let me secure us.
Share a bed on vacation. <laughs> Look at us now. I'm gonna get you on the one piece, brother. Wake up. Wake up, man. Jim! Jim! Jim Lawson, do you copy? Jim Lawson, do you read this? Wake up, Jim, come on. Jim. Too, man. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations. Oh, Colonel Hauser. We'll be sending a transport to pick you up shortly. DC just reopened our bunker, and there are a couple of people down here who want to say hello. Paul, are you there? Paul? Judy! Judy, it's me! We did it! I love you so much. Oh, we love you, Daddy. Daddy, we love you. Come I love home. you too. Daddy's coming home. Come in, Jim Lawson. Jim. Jim, please. Jim, please tell me you're okay. Stacy. Is that you? Jim, it's me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> Come home. Come home, Jim. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> 